so you see um yeah yeah pokemon red kind of like just kind of decided to kill quit on itself because like you know life kind of sucks as you can see i have a different game boy emulator now and well when i when i released the video saying that Pokemon Red's dead. I'm sorry, guys. We'll do it. And because and Kirby was the only thing that actually succeeded. Yeah. Oops, the thing turned off accidentally. Ooh, the, I, you might as well did. Okay, well, that, that's probably a good thing because I kind of had a whiny voice there for a second. Anyways, and if you somehow heard it, well, shit. Anyways, um, yeah, last in the video, um, I said the only the only games the only game I legitimately completed on the channel was a Kirby game, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland to be specific, and every other game after that just decided to kill itself because you know maybe it's because they don't like being on a crappy phone. So yeah, I kind of hinted at yes we are playing a Kirby game, and yes we're gonna beat this one mostly because it's Kirby's Dreamland. This is the first Kirby game ever made by HAL Laboratory Inc. in, in 1992. Personally, it is one of, not like my favorite game, I own the physical copy and it's, it's good for like, I mean like, like a little while, it's like, 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 like I'll play it like when I'm like, just, like kind of bored and just kind of want to play something fun and it gets the job done. But it is a, known to be a very short game. Yeah. Anyways, there are exactly five levels in this game with bonus stuff later. So you know what? We're gonna let's play this starting right now. And uh, no, and yes, these are gonna be actually very short uh, videos. Also, I'm not gonna upload this exactly after I recorded due to the fact that I need to go set up a playlist on my actual channel. I should also list the last um. Four play, five play, five let's plays as failed, and the first one completed. Yeah, the complete record is probably not going to be that good since I'm using phone emulators. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this Kirby's Dream Land, black and white, no color this time. It's probably going to be like this for every other Game Boy game. Let's go. Green greens, and we begin. Anyways, like in the last Kirby game, you can jump. You can jump, you can swallow. I accidentally put this wrong. The B looks like an A for some reason. Like The B legitimately kind of looks like an A. But anyways, you can jump, you can suck, you can move, you can fly. With up, this time making it slightly more annoying. Anyways. Any vase. In this game, well, you can't run. You can only walk. And also, as we find out soon... Well, hold on. Let's find a waddle do. Uh, first game, please. Okay, a cappy. I might have to switch up this button combination soon. Anyways, you can go into doors, and well, this introduces well doors. Okay, um. Hold on. Um, yeah, let's uh, do something one second. Yeah, I'm gonna record this. Uh, I like this controller, to be honest. It's very, very cool. We're gonna do this. Yeah. And now let's go. Yeah, this is a lot better. Anyways, you can't double tap to run, which kind of sucks, but hey, this was the first game. It's not supposed to be gloriously better anyways um let's let's move on and well welcome to green greens one of the w w uh, the first level ever made for kirby and has one of the most iconic themes in the world and also warp stars this game is very simple it's for the i guess the i don't know the uh i guess the it's for kids, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, here we have Poppy Bro Senior, and ch I got hit. Well, he's one of the few mini bosses in this game, mostly because there are exactly four levels. Anyways, you don't notice how he didn't like, you know, 
plop on the floor as usual with normal mini bosses. Well, to sh tell you the truth, you can't. Which, well, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty sure this was known by millions of people. You can't get copy abilities in this game, and that is mo and that is also and it's pretty much shown by you not being able to being able to suck up Poppy Bro Senior, which has been known to be as a mini boss to either give you the crash or bomb ability when defeated. As you can see, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Which well, but luckily there are actually other power-ups in this game that you can take use of, which um I guess is okay when there's no copy abilities. It's not it's not that bad that there aren't as many. I mean, like the power-ups in this game are usually like just special novel novelties for certain levels, but when they appear, they're really fun to use. Anyways, let's go into this tree. Also, I'm pretty sure all most of the doors have in above them, or that, or it's just green greens. Did I say these videos are gonna be freaking short? Cause this level is almost done, to be honest. Anyways, jump. Anyways, out here, uh, nothing. Also, I just realized Kirby in the in Kirby's Dream Land, he looks more overly when he's puffed up instead of his more circular design in future games. Yes, yes, I noticed these things. I am a True blue Kirby fan. Actually, it should be more like true pink Kirby fan, but I'm just gonna say true blue. Because you know why? Freedom of speech, boy. I don't even know if there's freedom of speech in here. Oh, yeah, and the story. I should probably explain that. Um, Because, like, this game doesn't really explain stories. Also, Maximum Tomato. No, pretty much the only other food item in this game besides the energy drinks. Anyways, as I was saying, the story in this game. Basically, Diddy, the big fat penguin motherfucker, decides to take all the food in Dreamland. Sure, that sounds like a boring and pretty, um, you know, um, like simple plot. But if you take all the food in a in a, in a land, like I mean, all, he actually means like all the food. Well, that kind of means you know, like you're gonna starve basically everyone. Which I mean, like. When you think it like that way, you you actually realize DDD is kind of an asshole and must be stopped. Like all these creatures I'm killing are gonna starve if I don't do something. Okay, maybe not the dead ones. I mean, like they dead, so um, uh, they aren't they don't they don't need food. Mostly be because like well well yeah they won't need food because they're dead. But um, Kirby needs food, and when the, when uh, when when all the food. In the world, it's been taken by some greedy-ass penguin. Yeah, we need that food, like, now. Also, you can slide when pressing down in a B. You can only crouch. Yeah, let's go. And here's the most underrated, unused boss music in the Kirby series. The Dreamland 1 music. It is pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways. Anyways, I didn't even talk about this tree. It is Wispy Woods. All he can do is sit there, blink, move his mouth a little bit, drop apples, and shoot freaking stuff at your face. Anyways, get destroyed. Anyways, let me just talk about the boss music. Very underrated. I think it's only been remixed like once. Well, every other, every other boss name has been remixed like tenfold. Anyways, let's let's move on from this underrated boss music and collect this star while wispy cries a gray tear and next time we will be exploring the second most underrated place in dreamland castle lololo by god this place is unrated ah broom hatter yeah yeah, broom hat, I fucking hate you. Anyways, this is what we'll be doing next time. Plo exploring Kirby's most underrated place in the world. Castle Lololo. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. This video is short. Do all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I don't know. I'm just gonna pause it. I'm kidding. I love this music. Anyways, bye.